Americans abandoned their base at Quezon after breaking an enemy siege. Recently, they returned for a short visit. CBS News correspondent Don Webster reports. After a week of marching through the Quezon area, the Marines have reached a familiar point, the metal airstrip, which is about all that's left of the Quezon combat base. The airstrip isn't usable anymore. Artillery shells have put large holes into it. And now even the airstrip is being taken up. Shortly after the Marines arrived here, Navy Seabees, who built the middle airstrip in the first place, came back. Now, piece by piece, they're dismantling it, so that even this last landmark will disappear. In charge of the airstrip removal is Chief Petty Officer William Stiles. These plates that you see the Seabees pulling out now weigh about 140 pounds when they're brand new. If they're loaded with water, as they are, they're hitting about 160. That's why my boys are sweating. They go about $140. So every bit of strip you see out here is a dollar a pound. It's a lot of taxpayers' money, which we hope to be able to use again at some other airstrip. You expect someday the Seabees may have to come back here again and build this airstrip all over? I expect to see the Seabees anywhere they're needed. And I don't know if they'll be here or where, but they'll be there if they need it. The Seabees aren't taking any chances. One shell hole is dug even deeper to serve as a bunker. In case, as happened so often in the past, the communists again have this airstrip zeroed in. It's not clear who made all these shell holes in the runway the past few months. The communists still have artillery positions just across the border in Laos at a place called Koh Rock. American shells may have made some of the holes. In a few places, grass has already sprouted up through the holes in the runway. In this wet, lush country, grass will probably cover the entire area once the airstrip disappears. Of the men taking up the airstrip, some used to be stationed here. They came back voluntarily to see what it looks like now. We were stationed in Quezon for 11 months, about as long as anyone. How has it changed since then? Well, it's gotten a lot greener, and a lot of the dust is going down, and scenery looks a little bit prettier than it did a few months back. You didn't have to come back. Uh, why did you? Well, I had a chance to come back home, so I figured I'd better take it while the chance is still open. I guess you left a lot of memories here. Yes, I had a lot when we laid down the airstrip and patching it up and now taking it back up again. I have plenty of memories of this place. The Americans here are members of the 26th Marine Regiment, the one which was stationed at Quezon through the siege. Few units in Vietnam have taken as many casualties over the years as the 26th Marines. In less than two months, 150 Americans died at this location and more than a thousand were wounded, plus many other casualties on nearby hills and in the air over this region.